I got into music apparently when I was very young. Um, I think before I could walk, because I've seen some photos of myself sitting on the floor in the kitchen banging on pots and pans with wooden spoons. After that, my parents started getting me musical instruments, like toy musical instruments, which I would beat the hell out of. They bought me some drum kits, drum kits from Sears Roebuck catalog, and um, I would beat the heck out of those until, it, those usually lasted a few hours after they got them for me on Christmas morning. Um, so then I started moving into real drums, started playing those, and then uh, my mom bought me a guitar, uh, which I didn't beat the hell out of with sticks. I actually learned how to play it, and um, and I'm really glad I did because that has become my uh, my instrument of choice and my tool for creativity. Early musical influences all came from my parents' turntable, um, which was normally Ray Charles, The Carpenters, The Beatles, that sort of stuff. Uh, and then uh, my sister kind of got me into disco. Um, she was really into going to like the uh, roller rink on the weekends, and so she would buy these little 45s, and uh, I was got into like Earth, Wind and & Fire and Funkadelic and all this disco stuff and funk. Um, and then as I got older, um, you know, I got into rock and roll, so uh, KISS was my favorite band when I was a kid. Uh, then I got into ACDC and Van Halen and a lot of that kind of rock. Um, and then later, um, you know, crossed the line into uh, New Wave, and I think skateboarding had a lot to do with that. Um, I would go to Winchester Skate Park and they would just be blasting Blondie and the Pretenders and Devo. And uh, that became my new uh, musical love, kind of new wave. Wasn't all the way into the punk rock world. I wasn't committed to that. I, I liked new wave. Um, in high school, I was in this band called The Scam, and uh, we played lunchtime gigs, you know, in the quad. And you know, it was like being a rock star in high school. And then I uh, started playing with older people um, outside of high school. So I was like, you know, 16 years old playing with 20 something year old dudes in a bar um, you know some some of these places I was I obviously wasn't old enough to get into and so they would make me wear this big neon pink thing that said minor on it and I could go on stage with this minor thing on but then on our breaks they would kick me out into the alley which was safe for a 16 year old to be hanging out in an alley with, you know outside of a bar but, um, you know, I met a lot of great people. Um, I had a couple of great high school bands. Uh, one was called Justin's Crib. After that, I was in a band called The Heroic Airmen. Um, we were uh, involved in the San Jose music scene, uh, which was amazing back then, only there were only about two or three clubs to play. And so, you know, getting gigs was, was a challenge. But um, that whole scene was great um, while it lasted. It, uh, I really met a lot of great people. Um, longtime friends who I still have. Uh, good scene.